You're joining me, your host, Jeffrey Azan, on this fantastic Tuesday morning, April 4th. We are in a new month, and so we're coming with new topics. Remember, Levels and Meds is the show about next level living and next level thinking, where we speak to industry experts, professionals, and those who have walked the walk to give us the practical steps on how we can get to that next level of life. With April and being the month that typically, not always, but typically host Easter, we are taking a look on the walk that many take of faith, religion, spirituality, and how it impacts their business life, their personal life, and their professional life. Today, joining us in studio is one of well, I consider him one of Jamaica's most hilarious comedians. He's an actor, he's a producer, and actually a number of young superstars in the media industry have told me to my face out of their own mouth that they owe their boss in the industry to this particular gentleman. Uh, I speak none other than a friend of mine, Mr. IT Ellis. Welcome to the show, good sir. What an awesome introduction. I was wondering, it was me you're into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, I-T-Y, that's my name. It's an acronym, it means I thank you. I thank you for having me. You see, the, the show doesn't even start good yet and we're learning things. I mean, I can't wait till I have an acronym for a name. <laughs> that, that's a heck of a thing. Yeah. Sir, you're joining good, us mm. on a very special episode. Uh, as I said, Easter is around the corner. Yes, yes. And we were really looking for somebody to come and enlighten ourselves and the Bridge Nation yes. on practically putting Christian principles, Christian steps into the work of world, into the work of business. Because many don't really see how the two go together yes 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 and you have been somebody in the space you've been very firm on your feet you've been very firm in your stance that yes. you don't you don't do anything mm. without god you don't do anything yes. without faith yes. and for those of you who are not on mm. the live yes uh just so you know when i was introducing the show and it wasn't on mic quite yet mm. it said my boss a prayer yeah. before we get into this so <laughs> is a man that walk with god walk with faith into everything that he does and we appreciate it. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Yeah. All right. So I'm not here to tear him down, but I'm here to get the enlightenment from him. Yes. And we're really here to pose some of the questions put forward by the Bridge Nation and get Sir IT Wise. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> IT Wise. <laughs> In, he wants his perspective on a lot of it. So, good sir. Yes, yes. Uh, we send out a poll weekly to the Bridge Nation. Yes. And we like to ask them a general question around what our topic is going to be for today. Right. So the topic we had put out to the Bridge Nation this time was, does Christianity help or hinder your ambition? Mm. And we got a number of interesting responses. I mean, one particular response that stood out to me, which was very interesting, is a person just said, I don't like how this question is worded. <laughs> because it's, it, it's troublesome and perhaps vague in parts because ambition, the use of the word ambition there was not specific. You know, ambition can be straight Christian mm -hmm. and can be secular, you know. So perhaps if you had said secular ambitions, then we, we, we could wrestle with that idea. Because, I mean, uh, uh, there's a gospel artist who grew up in church and discovered that he's a singer and decided to be a gospel artist. So his ambition is to be the best. He wants to impact the world as a gospel artist, and that wouldn't hinder his Christianity. But, but, but of course, if the ambition is outside of um, you know, Christian activities, Christian beliefs, and Christian, I mean, then, then you might have a, a challenge which is some of the challenges I've, I've faced in my, my own profession. Well, that's where I want to get to. I want, I want to uncover all of that in time mm -hmm. because another response we got, and I'd love your impact on this, is one person said, it makes it harder, yes. but it can help. Now, mm. I, I don't understand how it can make it harder, yeah. but help at the same time. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I want your perspective yeah, yeah. on that. It's an interesting thing. I was... Um, charged with the responsibility to deliver the sermon on Sunday at my church, right? And I was asking the question, where is the love? But in, in asking that question and in telling them where I found the love, I said to them, I found the love in my discovery. 
you know, of Jesus Christ and my walk with him. Did it get easier? No, but it get better. Or can it get better and not easier at the same time? Pretty much what, what she's saying, or can it help and hinder? So, because better is not um, easier, easier, you know? Mm. And sometimes people confuse the two. And of course, you can be hindered and help. Hindered from pitfalls, hindered from obstacles, hindered from hurdles that will affect your growth and be helped to identify that pathway that can help you get straight on the narrow way to your goals and ambitions and visions, you know? So that, that's how I would understand how that person answered the question that it can help and hinder at the same time. Yes, it, it, it can help and hinder at the same time. So just because it's better doesn't mean it's easier. No, I, and that's no. my favorite yeah, yeah. little yeah. nugget from what you shared. But yeah. I agree, it can help and it can hinder at the same time. Yeah. My bigger question though, is that when you deliver the sermon on where is the love, mm. did Black Eyed Peas ask you for <laughs> royalties? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, we just want to. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's up on video. It's up the there. Great, great, great appointment with Tabernacle's um, Facebook page. Okay. Um, I, I'm laughing because I'm not inviting any kind of um, um, charge any copyright issue. <laughs> I hope that we didn't infringe upon anybody's copyright. That's right. But, that's but, right. But, but suffice to say, our objective was to, just to enlighten and share and to challenge and to inspire and seek to be inspired by those who will respond to that message. You know? Got you. Yeah. Got you. Mm. Now, the, the, the third one, which I found interesting, is somebody was saying that it really had to do with do does your personality, your business, and your faith mesh. They really mm. separated them into three different things to yeah, say whether it yeah, was going to help yeah. or hinder. Yeah, What's yeah. your take on that separation of self in terms of personality, the faith, and the business? There are, there are two things you have to think about, place and time. You know, place and time and appropriateness. I have to think about them carefully with the wisdom of God because, I mean, Apostle Paul said I became so much more that I could gain. So I'm paraphrasing the text. Right. But what he was saying pretty much is that I, I had to adapt to different situations and to be adept at adapting so that I can really reach um, different persons. And I think in the same way it is when we, we, we go on this walk. All right, I have had some experiences. I remember I was to um, perform at a show, major show, huge corporate giant in this country. And this man who heads the company is, is huge, well-known, you know, powerful uh, in, 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 in the industry. And I learned, just as I was given a microphone, I was told, IT, don't mention anything about God. Oh boy. You know, because um, this man who heads the company is not into that, you right. know, so come and give joke. No, I, I, I haven't, I've been told that before I go on stage, you know, you know, you go, you, you, you kind of, you know, in a you zone, get in your zone. zone yeah. So I, I was, I was put off to the point that I was saying, no, no, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to do this show. Because I mean, how am I gonna do the show? I can't even. I'm a, I'm an on the spot kind of person, so I don't know if in a moment I might say something. Right. You know what I mean? You have your material, yeah, but yeah. you may respond it, 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 to a situation. Right, right. So I was, you know, and then, and then, then she was saying, I know what what you're thinking. Just I am I, I'm a follower just like you, a believer just like you, but I have to adapt. And my job here is to do the work, and it doesn't hinder. Mm -hmm. mm, here you go. It doesn't hinder what I do to deliver my work and the objective that they require. Somebody would say, let's come and do the show. <sighs> yeah, so you yeah. said I breathe? Yeah. But I went and I did the show, you know, but I remember to share it now to say sometimes we are challenged like those things. I could perhaps have said in that moment, no, I'm definitely not doing it and leave. Right. But then perhaps in my meditation with God, you know, I, I, I would perhaps be, I don't know. But the truth is, I, I thought at the time I did the right thing to do the show and not be but 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 i don't want to i'm saying it publicly now i don't want to be told that everywhere i go i'm gonna i'm gonna have a real problem i'm gonna select where i go if if it is that i cannot carry my belief systems with me then i'm gonna, I'm gonna have a problem because the persons who are objecting it is because they are carrying their belief systems why they are objecting and they are standing firm on theirs true so i have to stand firm on mine so if we can't find commonality or we can't we can't find Interdependence. I will kind of find that place where, where you know, where we argue. We say we agree to disagree. We so agree I to disagree. I wonder about that. You know, how can agree to, to disagree? To disagree. But if we can't find that place, then then have to be selective. Now, say no. I, I'm not going to 
go there. So there are those challenges, and I face them often. Good thing about my career is that it wasn't founded in, you know, it, it's comedy. It wasn't founded in raunchy material. It was founded in mostly family-oriented influences, and that made my, you know, transformation a little easier, you know. Uh, let, let me say a very good morning to Minister Marion Hall because, <laughs> because you know, I, I'm mentioning her because we, 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 we the, the commitment was at the same time in, in the end of 2015. I, I remember when the news came out of her, the news came out of me, people were like, oh, so yeah, follow, I said, no, I follow Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. So we want that to be very, very clear. And I mentioned her because I know it, it, it perhaps was a little bit more challenging for her, her because we know that her material was a little bit more challenging based on her Based what on she her, was presenting yeah, prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to admittedly say that it was a little easier. For you. For me. Got because you. my material wasn't... Was never was never that risky. Right, right, Got right, you. right, Got right, you. right, right, right. So we have a big belief here on Levels and Meds is that you've talked a lot, uh, well, you've responded to some of the comments of the Bridge Nation. But one of the things that I always like to point out is it's very hard to, to truly learn the lesson unless you know the teacher. Oh. And so I want you to share with us what got you, before we go to break, mm -hmm. set the standard, what got you on this walk that you're now on, as you said, the end of 2015? Yes, What, yes, what yeah. created that change yeah. in, in approach, belief, perspective, yeah. what was it? It was gradual, it was deliberate on the part of my friend who I grew with in Trenchtown. Say we come from Trenchtown. Every time I get the chance, I have to say that, you know. <laughs> um, we, we, we met on a football field. And of course, it was three of us. It was IT, Fanscat, and, and Mark. And four of us, actually. And Pi. Mm -hmm. You know, but Pi, the fourth friend, he, he, he passed on early at age 22. Oh, wow. So it was three of us, you know, who left Trenchtown. And um, whilst myself and Fanscat went into comedy, my friend Mark, he went into ministry and he became a pastor. So for 20 years, he would, he would have been praying for us. So it's gradual because I, I go to church once a year. Right. Every Easter, I'm here in the midst. I take my whole family. That's, that's their experience. They know, say, perhaps we weren't Christians, but we weren't, weren't opposed to the idea of right. hearing the word. So over time, I hear it, 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 hear and it. And if you went every it. Easter, you heard probably the same word yeah, over yeah, and over yeah, and yeah, over. You know, <laughs> you know and, and I was stubborn. Many a times I, I, I rejected it, argued with him, you know, with some ridiculous arguments and things. And I think that um, the time had come. I believe that on that night, um, 2015, myself and my daughter, who is in studio with me, Najali, you know, um, she, she, she and I uh, committed Prior to that, though, my, my wife and my younger daughter, they both got saved months before. Uh, and, and I think that played a part, too, because my wife, um, she was praying, you know, that I would, you know, heal. And I was even more rebellious at the time because I felt that I don't want to be forced into a decision because my wife take it up now. So, you know, she just do fair thing. I'm going to do my thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So even if it gets even more difficult, like she shouldn't, probably if I had gone first, it would be easier. So it was tough. So in a church, enough time, and she said, you know, I go up. I said, you not go up. Leave me, man. I'm going to do my thing. So it, it was a challenge. But on that night, when my pastor preached a sermon about no linger, do not linger for those persons who <clears throat> only understand Queen's English. Do not linger any longer. No linger. It, it, it reached me. It reached me. And I, I, I told him that, you know, I am ready. I have submitted. I, I, I'm laughing. I say, yeah, yeah. I told you ready. You know, I'm, I'm going to say it to him. I say, ready. And you know what I mean? You know, serious. But the morning when I woke up, the, the first day of the new year, I said, yeah. This is it. This is it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'd have to say it was gradual. When some persons heard, I remember young, my younger daughter was told by somebody, she said, hold on, I'm somebody sick or something. Oh, 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 I'm just changing so. People often look for something, some traumatic event um, for change. I have a friend now in New York. He said, hey, boy, you get your call. I said, wait for my own. I'm saying, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, what, what are you waiting on? No, I think I'm, you know, you get your call. I said, I'm ready in time. I said, that's what I'm telling you. Say, I am calling. I'm calling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I still have no traumatic incident to report, no traumatic event. My virgin was driving on the, the highway. I flip over how much time and when he came out, him same day, you know, come out and when the crowd gathered and they were looking down, they said the person in the car, they're dead. 
and he was standing in the corner and him said, the whoever didn't like car there, because the car fling him out. And I said, I tell you, I'm not telling 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 you, I'm if <laughs> just say I want them things, they must give God thanks and just say, yeah, we all go and live my life. Party, me say. You know what I mean? Kind of right. thing. So, so the point is, he, I mean, he probably said, boy, I don't like all that tonight. I'm just glad to God save me. Right. So I didn't have... Um, An, a radical... The, 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 I don't have that to report. But, but I got it. And I, I'm speaking to a number of persons like me who hear it, hear it, and they're hearing it now. Right. But them, they more hear it than, you know, perhaps... One day. Yeah. One one day they'll answer the call. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Mm -hmm. You're tuned into Levels and Meds here on the Bridge 99 FM. When we come back, we're going to be diving deeper into this balancing one's secular mm. oh, ambition. Secular. Secular ambition yes. and their Christian walk in the faith. Yes. That and more when we come back. And welcome back to the Bridge 99 FM. If you're just joining us, you are tuned in to Levels and Meds here on the Bridge 99 FM with your host, Jeffrey Azan. Joining me in studio is the man, you know, I'm not going to be able to call him IT anymore because the man tell me his name is ITY, right? I thank you. Joining me in studio is the big star, IT Ellis, IT part of the duo, IT and Fancy Cat. Mm -hmm. And we're really exploring this balance of secular ambition, pursuing your goals, your business, the money, financials, but balancing it with your Christian walk. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we just got IT's journey into mm. Christianity. And if I was to sum it up, paraphrase it, yeah. really and truly what it is, is that, and you know, funny enough, I got dragged to church Sunday gone, you know. Yeah. And a part of the message Sunday gone was who's standing in the gap. Mm. And so basically what you're saying to me a while ago is there are a lot of people standing in your gap yes, waiting yes, on yes. you to make yes, the transition yes, yourself. Yes, and that's yes. really what it is. It was support. It was community. Yes. And it welcomed you into yes. that sort of situation. Yes, yes, yes. So we want to now take a much more, what would I say, granular mm -hmm. look at this concept of business and faith. Yes. Because a lot of people... And I, I dare say, now I'm no mm. folks before you come bond down the bridge mm. and mash up my social media and say, cancel Jeffrey. Yeah. Let me make it very clear. Yeah. I am not a theologian. Mm -hmm. I have done a doctorate in biblical studies. Yes, yes. I know a couple of scriptures yeah. and I know what people out the road say more time. Mm. So let's just, that's my disclaimer. So if mm. I say something mm. and you feel the spirit stir in you, yeah. just shoot me a message. Say, Jeffrey, you know, say, I know, so it go yeah. X, Y, Z. Yeah, All right. Yeah, so. Yeah. With that said, mm -hmm. a lot of, I dare say, Jamaicans misquote the Bible. Yes. And they misquote a very particular verse where they say, money is the root of all evil. Mm. Now, if you know your Bible, you know it's the love of money is that's, the root of all that's evil. That's correct, yeah. And for those of you who don't read your Bible, and that's the only part of the scripture that you know, it mm. goes on further to say mm. money is a solution to all things. Mm. So if you don't know, you need to go and check the dichotomy of it. Mm -hmm. But for you, IT, how does that pursue work out? Because Christianity as a faith yes. calls heavily on service. Yes, yes. It calls on giving on to those who do not have. Yes. Lifting up those and providing them with the things yes. that you have that they do not have. Yes. yes. And yet, as a businessman, yes. you have to, you know, make the dollars and cents of it. You have to yes. find a return in it. Yes. How do you balance service in that sense of from the heart, gifting? I'll mm. call it gifting instead of mm. serving. Yeah, yeah. How do you balance gifting with commercial viability, commercial practicality? That if I go into do something, I have to get paid for it. Yes, yes. How do you balance that in your walk? It's an enormous challenge, I, I must say, real quickly. It's an enormous challenge to, to balance um, the, the commercial activities with service, with Christian activities. I'm laughing because I remember, I remember a, a politician once said, famous politician said, It's going to take cash to care. Because I dare say, and he went on, you know, right. but, but remember that phrase, it takes cash, takes to, cash care. to care. You know, it, it is and has been for me uh, something that I meditate on and, and try, I try to navigate what I do based on the 
the intersection of wanting to pursue economic gain and to be successful in business and want to maintain service and it is always a, a challenge to juggle now i rely on the, the spirit of god because i don't get it right and i feel often even as i walk with christ and that is why i want to say this really quickly and when you when you decide when i have decided to follow christ it doesn't mean that i am perfect it is saying that i am not perfect and therefore i need to follow a perfect being and i believe i believe that perfect being is jesus the christ right now as i depend on him to help me to, to make the decisions you know sometimes I, I i make some of my own and i would fail you know but if i if i depend on him then he, he guides me into making those decisions that are aligned so i did a a function recently and i was asked to do a specific thing which was very different from what i do normally to go and just give jokes you know and i like that i was invited to do i was invited to be um a keynote speaker at a very uh, a, a function and i was guided into what i needed to do what the objectives are and i, I had to be clear on those objectives and things but i bring myself into it you know so i i knew i didn't i wasn't called to do a sermon and i was um cautioned say you know give us this you know but I went, but I was allowed to be myself in that um, I, I served up what it is that I was required to serve up. But I took myself, who is a follower, in it. And things that I said communicated that. So at the end of it, I felt that, like, okay, I honored my responsibility and I honored God at the same time. No, it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes it's difficult. I used to be a part um, of a major reggae festival that happens in this country every summer and i used to go there and perform every year major booth it was a big earning opportunity for us and, and we were called upon to do it and i was working from like 8 p.m to like 4 in the morning and when i got saved i decided i couldn't do it anymore because the space i was in and where i had to work there was a lot of drunkenness a lot of um skimpily clad females um people were smoking people were just cursing it was just too much for me to handle to be in that space for hours from 8 p.m so i couldn't do it so i'm giving you two examples here one where after I, I couldn't do it and serve at the same time and the other i could do both and therein lies the challenge for most persons who are listening okay so you have to make those decisions where you can maintain the, and it's, it's, it's not always that possible yesterday i was moderating at a funeral service yesterday and it was a, a service where the the invitees are not necessarily christians there it was a collection it was a, a potpourri a, a, a melting pot of different belief systems at the same place the rastas were there those who are perhaps atheistic those who are theistic those who are deist who believe that yeah there's a government you know what i mean mm -hmm. um at the same place and it was called so i i, I had to it was a challenge for me. How do you walk that yeah, line? Yeah, how do I walk that line? I would say, I shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? And I must say, it, it was tough. I had to go to. I don't think I, at the end of it, I, I didn't think I represented what I believe. But perhaps that wasn't the place to do that in the way, you know, just still carry it. So I, I hope I'm answering the question. It, it's a challenge to make those decisions. But but you have to depend on your belief system in your work. I, that's what I do as a father that help me because if i really make this decision outside of you i i, I not gonna be comfortable with it you know and there are times i've done some things and i come back and I say you know um, never get for big up you know what i mean i, I, I never know. i never listen to the and guidance yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah i feel sometimes but then the good thing about um our work once you go, go to him and confess and, and dust off yourself you can walk again so when i was invited to come here no this is service because there's nothing about this, um, it, you know, it's commercially. Uh, there's no check written for yeah. IT. Let's just make it very so, clear. Yeah. I never cut a check. Yeah. IT are good people. Yeah. I'm a brethren. <laughs> so I had to get up out of my bed, which is that talent for me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to arrive on time, which is that talent for me. <laughs> because I know it's really, so I have to be here when it starts, you know. And I'm and, and part of my, I was, I was driving, I was driving, I was singing. I was singing the entire trip. You know, it's German Edward song, you know. Heal my heart, love. I can't sing. Yeah, me know, me know knowledge, yeah, me can't sing. <laughs> um, but, you know, but I was just singing, you know, because 
this experience is one of those experiences where I say, all right, Father God, you know, for whatever the reason, I'm going to bridge 99 FM, when I'm going to talk about, I'm going to be aligned with my life, and, and me, I pray that I honor you, you know, I'm going to talk about I'm going to come. You know what I mean? So, so, so there's three things. Here am I. Yesterday at the funeral, um, the, the, the function I went to speak at, the reggae festival, the four things. So it's so a different experience. Some I can't do anymore. Right. Some I can do and still maintain. And, but, but let me say this. If I come here and tell I say, oh, after I get saved, the easier I'm going to start earning a whole lot more money. And I, I'm not saying that that was the case. I'm right. not saying that cannot be the case. Right. But the, the challenges would come immediately because you're switching from a space to a new space. So you have to go through changes and challenges. There's just absolutely no way you can switch and change and don't go through um, things that would affect your earning opportunity. Remember two, I know those who are listening, they say, okay, so I'm the fans, yes, we're uh, we still performing a door. We, we do most things apart these days. But the, the, the truth is because he has not walked the same path that I am walking then there is a challenge right there because obviously there are some shows that he can do and is willing to do that I am not willing to do because you know and of course there are some shows that we can do together because we are a family brand I mean a lot of shows that we can do together because we are a family brand but not everything right so 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 obviously earning opportunities would be they change they change it would be different so you know and and I'm sure if a particular sponsor want to sign us and it's not a line. <laughs> I tell you, I do, I do so much show for some people. Sometimes them say, I tell you, I don't know you do a show there. You know, say, I'm performing for the staff. It's a staff function. So I don't care about what they sell. I am there to entertain the staff. And when I'm done, I am gone. But that is easier said than done because it, it, pe people walk away with a perception. And perception is often greater than the reality. And because I know that I have to be careful what kind of perceptions I'm going to allow people to leave it because my words say, let your light so shine. Why? That others will see and glorify me. No, no. And come and glorify God in heaven. I say, oh, okay. So me, I have to do some things so others will see you in me that they can say, yeah, there's a God. And that, 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 that is, that is a, a, a challenge every day. You know, but but because I know and I'm guided by that, I, I, I try to remind myself in my decision making. So those who are listening, it's not easy, and there's obviously a challenge with commercial gains and the Christian walk. Yes, the Bible says you cannot worship God and mammon, God and money. You can't have two masters because you might not serve them the same way. Let me just paraphrase. Right. You know, you, you, know, you have to really put your focus on one. I have, I have I asked a friend of mine, I say, it's so difficult for me to be a comedian and a Christian because I'm not a gospel comedian, meaning all my material You're influence. not pulling scripture no, to make joke. No, no, no. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't do that because perhaps I need to start to do some more of that. You know what I mean? But because that's not the case, um, it's challenging for me to merge and to find the bridge. Hallelujah. <laughs> seal it, seal. Hey. Seal it. Seal. To find the bridge between where I am as a comedian to entertain and, and my Christian work. And, and friends say, when you watch movies and those things, what do you think their agenda is? I'm saying to entertain, but entertain who? I'm saying the world. I'm saying, oh, I'm saying, oh the world. All right, good. So they are entertaining the world and they know what the world systems are, world belief systems are. So they, they target them. Your agenda is who? I said, God. I said, oh, oh. But you happen to be a comedian. You know what? Comedian is your springboard, is your vehicle into your agenda. Don't try and worry about merging. The merging, the problem you're trying to merge. No, no. You use the springboard of your platform that you have and you, you carry on your walk and you, you reach people, you know? There, there is so much to unpack from what you said a while ago. Mm -hmm. But I want to take, uh, for me, the leading question from what, from what you shared a while ago. Because we're living in an age, the social media age. Yes, yes. And in the social media age, everybody's working very hard 
to make themselves a brand. Yes, yes, And, yes. you know, we, a lot of young people out there think because they take picture and they post and they promote it that they are a brand. But you, you've done the work. You yes. are a brand. Anywhere you go in the yes, world, yes. IT Ellis is a commercially viable brand. Yes, yes. That being said, however, your brand is very much tied to what you say, what you represent, yes, how yes. you speak. Yes, yes. When you made this decision in 2015, of course, or maybe not even at the time, you considered how this might change mm -hmm. your brand. Mm -hmm. How do you find that stance in terms of people challenging your brand, mm. your business, your yes, company? Yes, I yes. mean, you gave us several examples, but I'd love to know how do you maintain your brand or more accurately, is your brand still evolving? Mm -hmm. Because like we have an example, Bridge Nation member reached out and to the mm -hmm. same topic mm -hmm. and she said somebody told her to turn off the gospel in her store. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm spending my money with you and I don't really want to hear this plane. Right, right. And she really kind of had to take a step back and yeah. say, what am I about? Yeah. Because I play the gospel because I think it embodies what I want to represent, but here is my customer mm -hmm. telling me they don't want yes, that. Yes. And she was really caught in that yes. rock and a hard place. Yes. So how do you, w what part of the yes. journey do you think you're on and how yeah. would you encourage others in that same journey of transformation of their brand? Well, um, transformation, look at me, watch any video of me, you're gonna see difference, that's physical. No, there are many parts of every being multiple parts there's the body there's the soul and there's a the spirit and if you don't believe that well <laughs> this is not the conversation for yeah, you at this yeah, time because yeah, we're going to go on a different road but let me just say that if you believe that then, then we can carry on now um oftentimes when we think about it there are things that we there is, is a wrestle because the, the part of us that is pure is the spirit that's the part that's, that's from God, right? I believe that. I believe when you accept this walk with Jesus Christ, he places his spirit in you. I experience it. How oh, I know I experience it. Because I know IT. I know IT for years, and I'm not. Listen, when I pass um, common entrance, I mean, GSAT, um, PEP. Pep. You pass PEP? Uh, you did common entrance IT. So what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, you know, I am been I've been around for some time, right? For some time, <laughs> for some time, you know. And my other daughter is laughing. You sure everyone was in all <laughs> levels? <laughs> <laughs> but but what, what I'm saying, I know myself. Right. So it is the discovery of the change in myself that tells me that whoa, that there's something different. You know, the things that I want to do normally. You know, things that I, I'm inclined to do, there's something say, IT, you know, say, I can't go down the road there. I have to drive on the road and think, I'll see the girl in them short skirts and them short shorts and things, and, and something I have to say, IT, hey. You know what I mean? What is that thing telling me that? You know what I mean? Because I'm male, you know, like anybody in the car, you know what I mean? There's, there, there, there's, this is you and your decision. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so that is the case. No, she's in a, a store. What's her objective? Okay, my job is to sell clothes or whatever, the service or whatever, the, 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 the merchandise that she is selling. No, who is my target? She has to define that. You know, this is the business part of me coming on. Who is my target? If my target is only Christians, then I'm only going to play Christian songs. If my target is is everybody, then I'm going to mix it. You can come and hear some Christian songs. You know, going in a kind of um, derogatory or offensive. You know, be right. play some wholesome songs. You know, so that so that you reach the target that you are intended. That is my guidance. So. So if you're finding that a particular music, it could be any music offending a part of your target market, then you have to change that music if you're in business. Right. You know, that, that's what business dictates. Now, if you decide, to, okay, I did that, no, no, not changing it, then fine also. Then means that you are going to narrow your target to a certain set of persons who are comfortable with that. And that's fine too. Especially here in Jamaica, we have how much churches per capita here, you know, have a whole lot of people. As many as rum bars. As many as <laughs> rum bars. So, I mean, you know, you're not off if you choose that target. But that's my guidance with those things. And, and that, that's a challenge for me sometimes to, to depend always on the wisdom of God to make those decisions, you know, because um, that, that, that's not easy. It, it's never ever easy. I hope I'm answering your question because you know yeah, when you do exam question, the lecturer say you didn't answer the question I asked. 
you know, know but I, mm-hmm. that's how we're going to go down a whole different yeah. road mm-hmm. but my answer to that is that is it is it school fault because they told us we needed to answer it with 500 words yes. so i had to add a lot of yeah. extra yeah. words yeah. to kind of fluff it up yeah but on that talk of transformation, I, I think you definitely hit a lot of the marks is that, you know, you really have to choose. It's mm. about choice because you, you, you point out mm. one, you, you knew yourself. Yes. Yeah, and man. that was definitely a huge factor. Yes, yes. And then from what I gather, you know, you have to now know your new self. Yes, yes, yes. The and spirit then, is reborn. Yes. And then it becomes decision making yeah. after that. Ah. And then that begin that forms your yes. transformation. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly because, I mean, the, the scripture tells you that, you know, be not conformed to, the, to this world, but be transformed through the renewing. The re- renewing, present participle, it's always happening, the renewing of your mind. So, so okay then, so it's a constant consistency that, that, that is occurring about this work. It's a constant renewing of the mind, and, and that's what is bringing about the change to, to, to guide the decision making. So, uh, am I an uh, evolving brand? Yes, I think it, I, am, I am definitely an evolving brand. There are some things that I'm called to do. I would never have been called to do it before this day. And, and I'm called to do it by myself, which, which speaks clearly that um, you are an, an evolving brand. Give you a joke. I went to somewhere the other day, and I'm laughing about it. And I said, all right, God does dating. Because somebody said, I heard some person behind me talking. I'm close to them, but they're talking about me. I hated that. And said, no, no, I hated that. And said, no, man, look at I hate it. All right, we can ask him. And then someone to me, and he said, um, sir, me and my friend, I want to know if you're an IT. I said, IT, who, who name IT? IT, you know. I said, people ask that him, say, um, he ask me if I'm IT. I hope I'm answering that because I, I, I get this thing all the way. No, hey, you're so uh, IT. You talk. <laughs> I start talking now. Let me say, I go over, you know, somebody wants to say, why? We're fancy. And the whole discussion. The point is, they never recognize me. I didn't look like who they are accustomed to seeing because I'm changed. I'm smaller, my ear bald, my ear glasses. All the things change, right? So I realize that I am changing physically, right? So it's, it's difficult. For, but the, the part of me that they cannot see is the part of me that they know. They, they hear my voice and they can recognize my hold voice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stick <laughs> all the pins. Stick all the pins. <laughs> it's the part they can't see. Mm. It's the part that they know. Ah, uh, hey, hey, hey. We're going to open that collection plate now and start a service. Right, no. <laughs> right on that. Bray, yeah, it's the part that they cannot see. It's the part that they know that, the, that, that that part confirms for them. Who? That I am the person. If I had not opened my mouth and just talk like a such, I'm telling you, they'd perhaps still be confused. I want to wrap up the whole show. Like, mo- like that. For me, folks, I don't know about anybody else at home. That going to send me home. I forgot to do some meditation mm-hmm. on that. That is, that, that's powerful. Mm-hmm. That is a, that yeah. is a powerful yeah, concept. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and I am living that, that change. So I say, all right, so Father God, I pray that so Father God, uh, the song I was singing this morning, make me new, Lord, make me new, Lord, make me new. And the thing is, I, I, I am experiencing that. Sometimes I say, Father God, you know, I, I, I still have to be a recognizable brand. You know what I mean? Right. And they must say, don't worry about it. No worry about it. Just go on, walk the journey. And that's the faith walk because I don't know where he's taking me, but I have to trust and walk by faith, not by what I am seeing. So I don't walk by sight. I walk by, by faith. And that's not easy. Come on, no. Come I feel like I have a certain confidence. when I know, you know. But as I see and as, as I in, evolve, I know that there is change, and it's obvious because in my space I hear it every single day, you know, and 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 that, and that's. Let me share this last one now. There is another person now who 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 said the same thing the girls were saying. When I'm saying, you know, say it, you know, say, no, never say it. Him say, you know, say um when they start talking, I say you sound like him too. But trust me, you know, me I know your people tell that, but you know, trust me, you look like you know look like him. But he almost, he almost sound like him. He wasn't convinced. That he you were still... Speaking. No, no. I'm thinking, say, I was impersonating him. Now, if you know me, and I know impersonations. <laughs> <laughs> I impersonate a lot of people. So, I declare it on Bridge 99 FM, so I am now impersonating I.T. Ellis. <laughs> 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 I walk around, and, I, and it's the biggest challenge 
to impress it. As a, as a policeman, a, a policeman stop me. Where I'm showing my lights. I'm going to show you, Jeffrey, because them people and <laughs> them people and them now go see it. I'm going to show the picture. I'm going to show the picture. Right. Right. I said, right. The I picture. I went, I went, I went, I went, I saw the police. I said, 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 Evolving, changing, transformation is not only physical for me, it's other things too. So I am reminded every day about change, about about um, becoming new, becoming different, you know. And then um, now to walk that walk and just trust God that where he's taking me, me all right. Why? If I wasn't a believer, I like to, whenever I get these talks, I get into scripture because I, 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 so I'll be open and honest, yeah. right? I'm one of those, I guess you'd call it a, a deity believer. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is a, a God, a deity. Mm -hmm. I believe that there have been many prophets. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not totally 100% soul on Jesus, Son of God, yes, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we can have a whole long conversation okay, so about that another yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And But I know the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Bible is full of wisdom for mm -hmm. life, for spirit, mm -hmm. for peace, for love. Mm -hmm. So I quote the Bible. I know the I know many scriptures yes, like yes. that. But <clears throat> it uh, that's why I always do my disclaimer yeah, because yeah. people come and they yeah, fight you yeah. on yes, the yes, word. Yes, yes, yes. How do you reconcile the two? Because sometimes you have one fight, which is the fight against those who want the old IT, yeah, the yeah. pre-2015 yeah, yeah, IT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also have a new fight against, I guess in biblical terms, I'd say the Pharisee believer, mm. those who believe in the word as the word say, mm. and know if you're going to do that, you shouldn't be doing yes, this either. Yes, 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 yes. How do, yes. You, how do you stand in that gap as well? Because yes. you're walking a unique tightrope there. Yeah, it, it, that, that is tough. Because if, you know, you're the same what the man on the donkey, you can't please everybody. The okay. man I walk with the donkey and the boy, and the people say, oh, come, oh I, I, I don't remember the story exactly, but if you know the story about the man and the donkey, he was walking and he was carrying the donkey. By the end of the story. By the end of the story, you know. The point is, you know, if you know the story better than I do, <laughs> is that he, he attempted to, to please different persons. And at the end of the story, he realized it, it's, you know, it's difficult to do that, to please everybody. So what do I seek to do? I, I, I seek to, to, to please God and to, to depend on him. And, and what does that look like? Talk to him and listen. Sometimes we don't say, yap, 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 I want to listen. All right, what do you mean by listen? We hear him talk to you audibly and him listen, him, him, him make deposits in your spirit, in your thoughts, and you get this peace, this, this sense. You know, you have to do something, you feel something inside of you, excitement for it, or you feel nerve for it. Like I'm going to do a show. And I, they're about to call me, and I feel like adrenaline rush. I feel nervous. it's something that I can't touch, but I feel it. I experience it. And when I'm done, I have this feeling again. So I'm done now. I'm complete. Those are all intangible stuff. You can't touch them. So when I listen and I hear, if, if, if I don't have the peace with the decision, I say, no, I'm going I'm to feel, I'm gonna feel a release from this. You know, so I'm gonna, you know, did, as well as I'm going to feel the release. I say, you know what I mean? Start to get and it feel like I'm going large. I say, commit my works to you, and you'll establish my thoughts. That is what I am doing. So we go. So it it it, it, it very it very difficult um to, to to try to go down the road and please everybody. So I know that there are persons that are going to say, yeah, me hear you, yeah, say, but um, me you're, not me you're not serious. You're not serious. You're not too kind. Plus, you're a joker. Mm -hmm. You're a comedian, which is the biggest challenge. When I got saved, there's no model for me. There has been no well-known comedian who transitioned. What I saw around me was DJs, singers who historically would have transitioned. Papa Sanders, and then they and, go gospel. And then they go gospel and things. So I'm say, who is the comedian? No, probably if, if Oliver Samblis had transitioned, I'm going watch him. I said, oh, okay. There's my roadmap. There's my roadmap. I, I had no roadmap that's well-known, that is um, household name. Are that saying that they are comedians? You know what I mean? I'm who are saying, out there doing yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But, but when I got saved, there was no man for me to look on. You know, even my brother, who was well known, he came after. I became the model. Not to say I'm a model for him, but I'm saying the fact that he came after, there was no model for me to look on, to follow. So as I evolve, it's a challenge for me. And yes, people are going to say, I was asking an interview on TV. So I said, what about those persons? I said, yeah, me, I say, you know, I teaching. I, um, somebody said, I was wearing a, a, a ripped jeans. I said, I'm not seeing a difference because, I mean, I'm not just like a, a Christian. 
I'm going to ask him how oh, Christian Most Jeff. Dress. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there are those challenges. And we know that we're going to get that, you know. But I, I'm not too worried about that. I, I, I just pray as a father that lead me, you know, help me to live this life that um, I can show you. And, you know, and every time, like, I, I know I come off this, I might be challenged by a phone call to say, hey, me, you to talk this from Bridge, you know, so therefore X, Y, and Z and challenge me. You know what I mean? Um, but because I already know that the challenges will come, but just us trust and walk in the moment. As them come and say, Father, you help me through this because I can do all things through you, but by myself, my weak will not be able to do it. And, thing. and, and that is it. And, and that's it for any belief system. Because the one thing that even you will not argue about is the idea of love. And I said the idea because it's always difficult to define Hinduism, Islam, Buddhist, I mean, whether Rastafarianism, Scientology, Deist, Theist, Atheist. The one thing they won't argue about is that that thing called love is the single most common known commonly known human connector it is there it is true we try to define it the greeks define it they give it different types of definition them mm -hmm. say so there's the eros there is this target the agape, there, yeah. the agape and thing so there are different ways to look at it but we know that that one thing nobody in the other world argue about them believe most so minded person believe that if if it is that we can find that the world would be a better, a much better place. If it is that even as Jamaicans right now, we find a love there that, that, that the word of God speak to, him say, what are the greatest commandments? Love the Lord the God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. That means your whole being. And him say, the next is like the first. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. I'm say, what that look like? As me love myself. If my daughter, my love, I like cook food. If me a chuck off on a John, and the two of you, I may have to save somebody. Naturally, me I'll try to save myself because we, we, two of you are drawn. The, the, the idea to love neighbor as yourself is to say, okay, me I have to make sure I say, see, save too. Because that's what I want for myself. So when I want for myself, I want, so I two of you are fighting. So if, you, if you are go down, I two of you are going to That is the picture of that. They say a good friend, that man say, oh, I to me I say, um, they, they, they get locked up. No, the good friend will, will be in there with they say, hey, <laughs> We get lock up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that is a, a true walk of friendship, and of course, you know, there are experiences about that, you know what I mean? So, so, so that is the thing, um, for me is I, I, I mean, won't please everybody, I, I know that already, but if I continue to pursue pleasing God, your walk, the, the word say, if if um, if your ways please the Lord in Proverbs, mm -hmm. if your ways please the Lord, even your enemies, it will cause you enemies to be at peace with you if your ways please the lord it will cause even your enemies to be at peace with you must say wow if you really are sorry but i live for god it's real authentic genuine and not show people love you know it's harder not to say that it won't be it's harder for them to come against and fight because you're not fight them but you see with oh boy Folks, I think I need to petition for a two hour show, you know, <laughs> especially when we have people like IT on. <laughs> but I want to kind of address this last point because I think this is the hardest thing for business leaders mm -hmm. is the concept of forgiveness. Mm. Why are you going no, there? No, we, yeah. only have, we only have about five minutes, yes, so we yes, don't need yes. a sermon on it. Yeah, yeah. But I really want your mm. perspective because mm. in business, mm. part of being a business leader is that it's your job to steer the ship. Yes. and to correct the ship yes so when you have a team member who is causing a problem they are undermining they may even be good at their job yes. but the reality is is that to the community they are a problem mm -hmm. when is enough too much because as a christian i'm called to forgive i'm called to empower i'm called to give chances i'm called to teach i'm called to serve mm -hmm. but this person i mash up my business yes, yes when do i say you know what enough is enough you're on your own now wow. how do you, how do you balance the two in terms of the faithful walk to serve to love your yes. brother as yes. you love yourself because yes. you wouldn't want yes. nobody to fire you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And yes. as a business person who needs to maintain commercial viability. Yes. Oh. It's tough. You know, when I was studying, I did a, a, a part, a, a module, it was called Transformational Leadership. And I remember something the lecturer said, and I don't forget it years now. Say, you cannot manage people. You manage systems. When they set the systems, people are lying to those systems. Okay, the rule says drive on the left. Now, that's the rule. 
if if there was no rules. So driving out in the side, you cannot imagine. You do, yeah, proper <laughs> chaos. Yeah, a proper chaos, you know what I mean? And when do, these same people who drive in Jamaica, they go to the state and, and the whole there said, no, drive on the right. So no, no, I, I left me, no. So I drive on the left. You know what I mean? Their, their, their emotions, you know, if it is that there, there wasn't that rule, they may not do what they want to do. So systems set the tone for people. Don't try and manage people because people are emotional beings. And I learned them. I said, okay. So if I want a particular change, you know, in, in the behavior of my people, I set the appropriate system that will dictate that change. And that's just um, for business. If, if we're going to, if we're going to look at um, um, Christendom with that now, we, we can't be just left and right because Christendom tell you very plainly. The disciples ask him, "Oh, Simon must forgive seventy times seven. That means a whole heap of time. That means you know, endless amount of time." There, there, there comes a point in a business, you know, based on the policy, based on your own vision and mission, and based on proper um, operating standards, where that person knows that the policy of this organization are these things, and they know the consequences of you not observing these policies are these things and that's clear from day one then if it comes to the point where you have broken these things over time even a christian boss gonna say hey you know this is our agreement you know and you have done this um, umpteen times i have followed suit I mean i have written to you about it i have put this on your file and you continue to the end then you leave me no option so the thing is is set that policy that that individual would know you can't christianize everything know the difference seek wisdom i feel like that 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 for me is is a nail is don't try to christianize everything but know the system i, I think that for me folks i don't have anything else to add that for me is a sealer it what's coming up where can the people find you tonight oh, all right there right now listen tonight i'm going to be at johnny live comedy bar i've been called to the bar they say to lawyers <laughs> So later on, it's IT Ellis, and it gets open at 8 p.m. You can go on uh, Johnny Live Comedy Bar's uh, IG page right now, or Chris Johnny Daly's page right now, you see. Even on my page, I put it on my story. So if you want to see me, and tonight is not going to be this way here today. Not, not the sermon. No, no. <laughs> it's jokes. It's going to be laughing time because a merry heart doeth good like medicine so if you're feeling any pain in the part of your body and you go through anything you depress it down that's the place to come later on at 8 p.m because i'm going to de dispense of dosage dosages of that thing that is called laughter and we're going to share it we're going to do it together and it's going to be a, a nice vibe so let's come and across to relax and let's enjoy ourselves tonight Love that. Love it. Folks, you heard it yourself. You need to go check it out tonight. You'll get you'll get a sermon, but you'll get it in the form of comedy. You'll get it in the in the medicine of yes, laughter. Yes. yes. IT, thank you so much for thank passing you for having through. Me. Yes, this yes. has been I feel like we mm. need a part two at some point. Dig down deeper into it. Mm. My producer is nodding at me. She agrees. Mm. Folks, you've been tuned into Levels and Meds here on the Bridge 99 FM. Big shout out to my producer Dominique, always taking care of business. Shout out to my technical operator, Kevin in making sure things happen as they should and remember my name's jeffrey azan this is the bridge 99 fm if you have not already you need to bookmark the bridge 99 fm.com to your computer because not only can you hear us on your radio but you can see us on your screen mm -hmm. if you are on the move you need to download the bridge 99 fm app Simply search The Bridge 99 FM, all one word, in the Android Play Store or Apple App Store. And remember, you can follow yours truly at Jeffrey J. Zan, Levels and Meds. And make sure you're following the Bridge social media page, The Bridge 99 FM. Folks, Levels and Meds, we're all about next level living and next level thinking. And until next time, have yourselves a great day and don't stop leveling up. <laughs>